And I think if people realize, <laughs> it's going to sound critical, if people realize how insignificant they were <laughs> in the grand scheme of things, <laughs> then they probably wouldn't worry so much about what people thought about them. Yeah. Because the truth is, they probably don't care. No, no, nobody cares. <laughs> they probably don't care at all. Like. Levels on levels on levels I am, but yeah, y'all thinking y'all better. I ain't fucking with these haters right now. They just hang them under like a shackle. Trying to drag me down into the dirt like a dog. I ain't trying. Okay, so that's hit training done. Ooh, it's been a while since I've incorporated hit training. Don't mind me. Um, so I'm only going to do probably once a week just to obviously boost a little bit of cardio and taking cardio versus cardio endurance. And oh, that was tough. That was tough. I haven't, I haven't done sprints in a while. Yeah, not since my football days, about maybe a year and a half ago, a year. So yeah, that was tough. I think it's only like six o'clock now. Maybe quarter past six, half six. But yeah, that's good. It's been a productive morning so far. Hitting the gym for about nine. I'm gonna be completely upper body because my lower body's it's gone. It's gone. I am shattered, mate. Bear don't, bear don't flick though. All right, see you back in the house. What is the story, people? What is the absolute fucking story, lads? Yeah, session in my house. Yeah. Nah, boys. Um, it is half eight now. Myself and Isaiah are gonna go to the gym. It's leg day for me. What are you trying to? Put upper body. Upper body. So we're gonna go smash that. I'm feeling pretty tired. Woke up at 4 a.m. today, boys. 4 a.m. We have changed it to 4 a.m. grind. Well, like it's still gonna be called 5 a.m. grind because it sounds sexy, but um, <coughs> I'll be waking up at 4 a.m. Just track your shit because if you're not tracking, you're guessing. Whoop whoop. I think that's it. Isn't Wise it? words from Isaac God Wagba. Because if you're not tracking, boys, you're guessing. Right, again, the time make me. Yeah. If you're not tracking, you're guessing. Yeah, what me and Isaiah might start doing is just arriving at the gym about 10 to 15 minutes early just so we can set the camera up and talk. Just have a chat with you guys, that's literally the plan. Just talk about some real shit. It'll probably be a bit awkward at first, <laughs> but um, yeah, probably will be a bit awkward. Just yeah. trying to think about like what to talk about and shit like that. But... Alright, Isaac, what do you want to talk about? <laughs> <laughs> Great. Okay, like, what, no, what we could talk about is we started Break Beyond a year ago. So, June 14th, 2016. So it's been like a year and a m About and two months, months now. Yeah. And what I've noticed, like straight away, the difference between the first year of business and now moving on to our second, mm -hmm. is that we're willing to take a lot more risks. And we're, like in the first year, we were just so conservative. We kind of second guessed every little decision we made. Yeah, probably a bit too cautious. Like way else. too cautious. Yeah. And as a result, we just stayed in the same place, not really moving forward too fast, not yeah. moving forward too slowly. And this time around, it's just more so about if it sounds like a good idea, it probably is. And if it isn't, then sure, look, we tried. Exactly. You know what, actually, as a tip that you guys can take away, and this is something I heard when I was listening to a Tim Ferriss podcast. Um, whenever you're about to make a decision, business-wise or whatever, just look at the failure percentage, or I forget what the term is, but it's essentially like... How, what, what is the worst kind of result that can come from this decision you're about to make? Yeah. Is it like, is it like, does it have a 20% chance of being a bad result? Or even if it is a bad result, is it... Like the consequences, how, how like the consequences it? are negative, like... Yeah, it's like, you look at the consequences of the actions, and if the, if the action doesn't result in a serious consequence, then go for it, because yeah. essentially you're just limiting yourself otherwise. It's like, to be honest, I think you have to get into the swing, the swing of it. I think like... Like the first time you come outside of your comfort zone, you know, like you just kind of, you know, you just kind of walk outside, you know, look around, you know, look at mm. chicken nuggets. Smell, there. smell the bushes. But then, like, the, the next time you do it, you go like a bit further. The next time you do it, you go a bit further again. Mm. And just, just keep on going further and further and further. Exactly. And you realize that, like, it's like, I used to be like real self, what's the word? 
Um, it's like self-aware or self-conscious. Yeah, self-conscious. Yeah. I, I used to be like real self-conscious of the stuff that I post on Facebook, and I'd be thinking, oh, you know, what does what does this person think of me now that so I posted so this? Think, yeah. What what does this person think? And like the truth of the matter is, the person probably doesn't even think at all. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like they probably saw your post, they probably scrolled past it, and they're like, okay, cool. cool. You know? <laughs> oh, or maybe even for like ten seconds of that day, they're like, oh, you know, Isaac's posting again, and then for the rest of the day, it's like they're not they're not thinking about you. Yeah. You know what I mean? So like that's how insignificant those decisions that you make actually are. And I think if people realize, and it's going to sound critical, if people realize how insignificant they were in the grand scheme of things, then they probably wouldn't worry so much about what people thought about them. Yeah. Because the truth is, they probably don't care. No, nobody cares. <laughs> they probably don't care at all. Like, I was vlogging independently on my channel before mm -hmm. I started vlogging over here. Yeah. So I'll, I'll, I'll link the first video that I did from my old channel in the description if you guys want to see it and like you can probably tell like how I might have sounded like a nervous wreck I was like oh you know I, I just want you to see nice man because I'm confident I, you know, I'm I just want to like, I, 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 man fuck up man <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> say it with your chest <laughs> say it with your chest man. look All right. it's five o'clock it's five to nine we're gonna go